morning, y'all. So yesterday, I'm sure you noticed there was not a Bible reading. So we're going to get right into it since we missed yesterday. Sorry, y'all. No makeup. Um, messy bun today. That's just kind of day it is. But I didn't want to miss another day of reading. So we're going to get right into it. And we're going to start with chapter 11, which is yesterday's reading. And we're going to try to get through it as quickly as possible just because with it being two chapters, I don't want this to be a hugely long video. So here we go. to pass that as he was praying in a certain place when he ceased one of his disciples said unto him lord teach us to pray as john also taught his disciples and he said unto them when you pray say our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done as in heaven so in earth give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we also forgive every one that is indebted to us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And he said unto them, Which of you shall have a friend, and shall go unto him at midnight, and say unto him, Friend, lend me three loaves. For a friend of mine in his journey is come to me, and I have nothing to set before him. And he from within shall answer and say, Trouble me not, the door is now shut, and my children are in with me in bed. I cannot rise and give thee. I say unto you, Though he will not rise and give him, because he is his friend, yet because of his importunity, he will rise and give him as many as needed. And I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given, given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth, to findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. If a son shall ask bread of any of any of you that is a father will he give him a stone or if he asks a fish will he give will he for a fish give him a serpent or if he shall ask an egg will he offer him a scorpion if ye then being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children how much more shall your heavenly father give the holy spirit to them that ask him and he was casting out a devil, and it was dumb. And it came to pass, when the devil was gone out, the dumb spake, and the people wondered. But some of them said, He casteth out, casteth out devils through Beelzebub, the chief of the devils. And others, tempting him, sought of him a sign from heaven. But he, knowing their thoughts, said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house divided against a house falleth. falleth. If Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Because ye have said that I cast out devils through Beelzebub, Beelzebub, but if I by Beelzebub cast out devils, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore shall they be your judges. But if I, but if I with the finger of God cast out devils, no doubt the kingdom of God is come upon you. When a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger than he shall come up on him and overcome him, he taketh from him all of his armors wherein he trusted and divided his spoils. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest and finding none. He saith, I will return into my house whence I came out. But when he cometh, he findeth, findeth it swept and garnished. Then goeth he and taketh to him seven other spirits, more wicked than himself, and they enter in and they dwell there, and in the last state of that man is worse than the first. And it came to pass, as he spake these things, a certain woman of a company lifted up her voice and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bare thee, and the paps which thou hast sucked. But he said, Yea, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. And when the people were gathered thick together, he began to say, This is an evil generation. They seek a sign, and there shall be no sign, there shall no sign be given, but the sign of Jonas the prophet. For as Jonas was a sign unto the Nevites, so shall also the Son of Man be to this generation. The Queen of the South shall rise up in the judgment with the men of this generation and condemn them. For she shall come out she for she came from the utmost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and behold, a greater than Solomon is here. 
The men of Neve, Neve, I'm sorry. The men of Neve shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. For they, they repented at the preaching of Jonas, and behold, a greater than Jonas is here. No man, when he hath lighted a candle, putteth it in a secret place, neither under a bushel, but on a candlestick, that they which come in may see the light. <clears throat> the light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when thine eye is single, thy whole body also is full of light. But when thine eye is evil, thy body is also full of darkness. Take heed, therefore, that the light which is in thee be not darkness. If thy whole body before, therefore be full of light, having no part dark, the whole shall be full of light, as when the bright shining of a candle doth give thee light. And as he spake, a certain Pharisee besought him to dine with him, and he went in and sat down to meet. And when the Pharisee saw it, he marveled that he had not first wash, washed before dinner. And the Lord said unto him, Now do ye Pharisees make clean the outside of the cup and the platter, but your inward part is full of ravenings and wickedness. Ye fools, did not he that made that which is without make that which is within also? But rather give alms of such things as ye have, and behold, all things are clean unto you. But woe unto you, Pharisees, for ye tithe mint and rue and all manner of herbs, and pass over judgment and the love of God. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Woe unto you, Pharisees, for ye love the uppermost seats of the synagogues and greetings in the markets. <coughs> Woe unto ye, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are as graves which appear not, and the men that walk over them are not aware of them. Then answered one of the lawyers and said unto him, Master, thus saying thou reproachest us also. And he said, Woe unto you also, ye lawyers, for ye laid men with burdens grievous to be borne, and ye yourselves touch not the burdens with one of your fingers. Woe unto ye, for ye build the sceptres and the prophets, and your fathers killed them. Sorry, y'all, the drainage is getting worse this morning. Truly ye bear witness that ye allow the deeds of your fathers, for they indeed killed them, and ye build their sceptres. Therefore also said the wisdom of, wisdom of God, I will send them prophets and apostles, and some of them shall slay and persecute that the blood of all the prophets which was shed from the foundation of the world may be required of this generation. From the blood of Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, which perished between the altar and the temple, verily I say unto you, it shall be required of this generation. Woe unto you, lawyers, for ye have taken away the key of knowledge. Ye entered not in yourselves, and them that were entering in ye hindered. And as he said these things unto them, the scribes and the Pharisees began to urge him vehemently and to provoke him to speak of many things, laying wait for him and seeking to catch something out of his mouth that they might accuse him of. Okay, now we're going to go right on to chapter 12. In the meantime, when there were gathered together an innumerable multitude of people, insomuch that they trode one upon another, he began to say unto his disciples, First of all, beware ye of the leavens of the Pharisees, which is hypocr hypocr hypocrisy. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ear in closets shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him which after he hath killed hath power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two farthings, and not one of them is forgotten by God? But even the very heads of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, ye are, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Also I say unto you, whoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of God. But he that denieth me before men shall be denied before the angels of God. 
And whosoever shall speak a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But unto him that blasphemeth against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven. And when they bring you into the synagogues and into magistrates and powers, take ye no thought how or what things ye shall answer, or what ye shall say. For the Holy Ghost shall teach you in the same hour that what ye ought to say. And one of the company said unto him, Master, speak to my brother that he divided, he divide the inheritance with me. And he said unto him, Man who made me a judge or divider over you. And he said unto him, and to them, Take heed and beware of covenantness, for a man's life consisteth, consist, consisteth not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentiful. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do, because I have no room where to bestow my fruits? And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater, and there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thou shalt, thou so shalt be required of thee. Then those sh shall those things be which thou hast provided. So that he that layeth up treasure for himself, and is not rich toward God. And he said unto his disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life that what you shall eat, neither for the body what you shall put on. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens, for they neither snow, sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and God feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? And which of you, with taking thought, can add to, this, to his stature one cubit? If ye then be not able to do that which is least, why take ye thought for the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They toil not, they spin not, and yet I say unto you that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then God so clothed the grass, which is today in the field and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe ye of you, O ye of little faith? And seek not ye what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of doubtful mind. For all those things do the nations of the world seek after, and your Father knoweth what ye have need of these things. But rather seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell that ye have, and give alms. Provide yourselves bags which wax not old, a treasure to the heavens that faileth not, where no thief approaches, neither moth corrupts it. Corrupt this. For where your treasure is, there your heart shall be also. Let your loins be girt about and your lights burning. And ye yourselves, like unto men that wait for the Lord, when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you, that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet, and will come forth and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them, so blessed are those servants. And this know, that if the godmen of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched, and not have suffered his house to be broken through. Be ye therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when ye think not. Then Peter said unto him, Lord, speakest thou this parable unto us, or even to all? And the Lord said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward, whom his Lord shall make ruler over his household, to give them their portion of meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom the, his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Of a truth I say unto you, and he will make him ruler over all that he hath. But, and if that servant say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to beat the men servants and maidens, and to eat and drink, and to be drunken. The Lord of the servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and at an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him in sunder, and will appoint, appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. 
And that servant, which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. But he that knew not and did not commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required. And to whom men have committed much, of him they will ask for more. I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I, if it be already kindled? But I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how am I straightened till it be accomplished? Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. For from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided, three against two, and two against three. The father shall be divided against his son, the son against the father, the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother. The mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And he said also to the people, When ye see a cloud rise out of the west, straightway ye say, There cometh a shower, and so it is. And when ye see the south wind blow, ye say, There will be heat, and it cometh to pass. Ye hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky and the earth, but how is it that ye do not discern this time? Yea, and why even of yourselves judge ye not what is right? Then thou goest with thine adversity to the magistrate. As thou art in the way, give diligence that thou mayest be delivered from him. Lest he hail thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and the officer cast thee into prison. I tell ye, thou shalt not depart hence till thou hast paid the very last might. So those are chapters 11 and 12 today, and I'm already feeling a lot worse of the draining and my throat and things like that. Sorry about, again, the hair today and no makeup, and it looks like there may even be a haze around me, and I think that's from my window, but I apologize for that. Um, but I do hope that you all enjoyed this reading today. We'll be back tomorrow, and I'm praying that tomorrow will be a better day and that I will feel much better. But I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a blessed day. Be blessed, and don't forget to be a blessing. Bye, y'all.